The Ranger Report, Bedivere University's newspaper, does not hire freshmen. Maggie Quinn is determined to change their mind. To do so, she's going undercover to infiltrate this year's sorority rush, even if it does mean enduring the questions, what's your major, and where do you live, over and over and over again. But Maggie gets chosen by the Sigma Alpha Zys to pledge with them, and her phantom pledge column is an immediate hit. However, Maggie can't help but noticing that the Sigmas are incredibly successful and lucky. Almost too successful and lucky. Plus, she keeps forgetting things related to them, and losing track of time the longer she spends with them. The last time weird things like this happened to Maggie, she ended up having to save her high school senior prom from a demon. Why? Because Maggie's sort of a psychic, thanks to some powers she's inherited from Granny Quinn. At least she doesn't have to tackle this mess alone. Lisa, her best friend and evil genius extraordinaire, is just a phone call away, and she dabbles in witchcraft when necessary. Then there's Justin, Maggie's history TA. He's the closest she has to an expert on the occult, and he helped her out the last time she faced down a demon. Of course, he just told her that while he likes her, he's not interested in dating her. Then again, he's been acting more like her boyfriend than anything else lately. Besides sorting out her love life, Maggie has to figure out just what is going on with the Sigmas. Sorority girls from hell may be cliché, but Maggie has the sinking feeling that that might just be what she has on her hands.